The film begins with Sebastian Valmont confiding in his therapist, Dr. Regina Greenbaum, about his struggles with his sexual affairs. He acts as if he has been successfully treated and glances at a photo of Greenbaum's daughter, Marcy, complimenting her beauty. Soon after Sebastian departs, Marcy calls her mother in distress, revealing that someone she loved had posted explicit photos of her online. Strangely, the guy had also commented on her attractive legs, which parallels Sebastian's earlier remarks to Greenbaum. Fuming with anger, Greenbaum rushes out of her office to confront Sebastian, but he merely responds with a smug smile and walks away with a girl he just encountered. Sebastian's stepsister, Catherine Mertuel, engages in a conversation with Mrs. Bunny Caldwell and her daughter, Cecile, discussing the prestigious prep school they attend. Bunny hopes Cecile focuses on her studies, but Cecile is more interested in the boys at school. Sebastian arrives and interrupts the conversation, and it's evident that Bunny strongly dislikes him. After they leave, Sebastian and Catherine talk about Catherine's vengeful plan involving a guy named Court Reynolds, who had dumped her for Cecile. During their discussion, they also mention an article written by Annette Hargrove, the virtuous daughter of their school's new headmaster in Seventeen magazine. Catherine challenges Sebastian to seduce Cecile as part of her revenge plot, but her primary goal is to have Sebastian pursue Annette, as she sees her as a challenging conquest due to her existing relationship. Catherine proposes a wager. If Sebastian successfully seduces Annette, she will grant him a night with her. But if he fails, she will take ownership of his Jaguar XK-140. At first, Sebastian doesn't appear interested, but Catherine tempts him by promising that he can have his way with her anywhere if he wins the bet. Ultimately, they agree to the deal. Sebastian's Aunt Helen takes the opportunity to introduce him to Annette when she visits his family's estate. Sebastian engages in conversation with Annette and attempts to make advances, but she firmly expresses her lack of interest, well aware of his reputation as a womanizer. Sebastian feels offended by her rejection and vents his frustrations to his friend, Blaine Tuttle. Blaine speculates that Annette might have been informed about Sebastian's reputation by her ex-boyfriend, Greg McConnell, with whom Blaine has had a secret relationship. He offers to assist Sebastian in obtaining the information he desires. Cecile is in the middle of a cello lesson with her teacher, Ronald Clifford, with whom she shares a mutual attraction. However, their session is interrupted when Catherine appears and whisks Cecile away. Catherine takes her to a park for a picnic and starts discussing Cecile's feelings for Ronald. Catherine, ever scheming, offers to teach Cecile how to make progress with a guy, starting with a lesson on kissing. They engage in a French kiss, leaving Cecile eager for more. Meanwhile, Sebastian continues his efforts to seduce Annette by inviting her to join him in his pool. Annette accepts the invitation but soon becomes wary of Sebastian's insincere attempts to be sweet and charming. Seeing through his facade, she quickly decides to leave the situation. Sebastian's charm doesn't seem to be working on Annette as he had hoped. Blaine devises a plan to set up Greg by arranging a compromising situation where Sebastian catches him in bed with someone. Blaine intends to use the pictures as blackmail to force Greg to reveal how Annette discovered his reputation. Greg becomes determined to uncover who exposed him, and during this time he spends time with Annette while walking on the beach. In their conversation, Greg learns that Bunny is the one who informed Annette about Sebastian's reputation. As a result of this revelation, Sebastian decides to follow Catherine's scheme to seduce Cecile. At the same time, he also manages to arrange a date with Annette. Catherine tells Bunny about Ronald and Cecile, so she goes to confront Ronald during a lesson. She is disgusted because she's racist, and she fires Ronald, ordering him to never set foot near her daughter again. The step-siblings then call a hysterical Cecile to have Sebastian deliver a letter from Ronald. He goes to her room and tells her she is not sexy. She tries to prove him wrong and starts to undo her clothes. He tries to get her to take all her clothes off, but she becomes uncomfortable and wants to leave. Sebastian then tries to blackmail her by saying he will tell her mother about Ronald, but Cecile begs him not to. He tells her he just wants to give her a kiss. Cecile puckers up, but Sebastian tells her he doesn't want to kiss her there. He pulls down her pants and does the alphabet with his tongue. Cecile later tells Catherine about this, and she gives Cecile advice on how to please Ronald. Sebastian persists in his efforts to win over Annette, going as far as engaging in community service at a retirement home, even though he finds it dull and uninteresting. 
During their time together, Annette tries to bring some joy to the situation by making silly faces, and her antics manage to break through Sebastian's defenses, eliciting a smile from him. Despite his growing feelings for Annette, Sebastian still succumbs to the temptation of following Catherine's plan and ends up getting intimate with Cecile. However, his encounters with Annette continue to occupy his thoughts, and he finds himself falling in love with her. Sebastian and Catherine secretly observe Annette as she is outside, visibly upset while reading a book. Sebastian approaches her and attempts to kiss her, but Annette eventually pulls away. When questioned about her resistance, she confesses that she doesn't trust herself around him, implying that she's aware of the consequences of getting involved with him. Later that night, Sebastian confronts Annette in her room, accusing her of hypocrisy for talking about true love while rejecting it when she seems to have similar feelings for him. In response to his confrontation, Annette gives in to her emotions and decides to be with Sebastian intimately. However, as the moment unfolds, Sebastian finds himself unable to follow through with their encounter. Instead, he begins to speak his mind honestly, expressing his conflicted feelings and reservations about their situation. After Annette leaves the house, Sebastian learns from Greg where she went. He seeks her out and opens up about his true feelings, confessing that he is genuinely in love with her. They share a heartfelt kiss before returning home and finally making love. The following day, Catherine, having lost the bet, offers herself to Sebastian. However, he no longer cares about the bet and desires only to be with Annette. Despite Catherine's attempts to seduce him, he firmly rejects her advances. Sebastian is torn between telling Annette the truth and revealing the bet, but Catherine warns him of the potential consequences for both of their reputations if the secret gets out. Faced with this dilemma, Sebastian decides to lie to Annette, claiming that he never cared for her and only sought a physical relationship. Devastated, Annette tells Sebastian to leave. Feeling conflicted, Sebastian returns to Catherine to resolve their deal only to discover her in a compromising situation with Ronald. Catherine openly admits that she knew about his love for Annette all along and taunts him for falling into her trap, manipulating him into breaking up with Annette merely for her own amusement. Sebastian attempts to reconcile with Annette by visiting her home, but her mother pretends that she isn't there, well aware that Annette doesn't want to see him. Determined to make amends, Sebastian decides to write Annette a heartfelt note, along with his journal, detailing all of his past conquests and the schemes he participated in with Catherine. Meanwhile, Catherine manipulates Ronald by falsely claiming that Sebastian slept with Cecile and even lied about him hitting her. This leads to a heated confrontation between Ronald and Sebastian in the streets. Annette witnesses the fight as she had gone out to find Sebastian. In an attempt to protect her, Sebastian pushes Annette out of the way of an approaching cab, but he takes the full force of the impact and gets critically injured. As Annette cradles him, Sebastian expresses his love for her moments before he passes away. At Sebastian's funeral, Annette encounters Catherine in the bathroom, where Catherine is seen using cocaine. After a brief conversation, Annette leaves. During the eulogy, a girl exposes Catherine's true nature by distributing copies of Sebastian's journal, now titled Cruel Intentions, to everyone present. The journal reveals Catherine's malicious scheming, causing the attendees to realize her manipulative nature. Additionally, the headmaster discovers Catherine's charm bracelet containing cocaine, further damaging her reputation. Catherine's once powerful facade crumbles, and she quietly weeps as the consequences of her actions sink in. The film concludes with Annette driving Sebastian's car while reminiscing about their time together, reflecting on the impact he had on her life.